All right, this is a quick little video for you if you're looking at putting some words and some text onto your chopping board. So we're opening up Corel Draw. You may have a 2022 or 2024 version, but this is the idea. When you're saying creating doc new document, you should have all your defaults set that's going to make it 1,000 by 600 in a landscape orientation. So we press OK. It's going to open up the entire bed size of our college laser. Now, my suggestion here would be that you would then draw a rectangle the size of the board that you have created. So your board might be something like 350 by 210 millimeters. You will then need to measure up in which row you plan on having your words. So your piece of timber that you're planning on writing on, it may very well be 19 millimeters thick. The length of it, you can make it 350. Uh, make sure the lock is off. That's a little trick there. So I had that lock button set. So when I made it 350, it made it as wide as 36. So we're going to 19 mil. So now this is the height of one of your pieces of timber. Now, if your pieces of timber are laid on edge, then that might actually be 32 millimeters wide. But most of ours should be 19 millimeters wide. And that's now going to allow you to right in between that size there so if you were going to say something like year 10 timber is life we would then look at highlighting our text we can then look at deciding our font now if you take note here when i'm nine millimeters or 18 points you can see the text and all the dots around it are a blue or a black color. If I made it 200, you'll notice that all of my dotted lines have now gone red and there's actually no text in sight. That's saying that there's something there, but we can't quite fit it within that frame. So then we're gonna look at going to 50. 50 is still no good. Let's look at 40. It looks like 40 is gonna get pretty close to fitting. So we're now looking at picking some text. So you make your way through here and you pick some text. Uh, Cooper Blacks, probably. Yeah, Cooper Bold. Uh, I don't mind that font there. So that's the size, that's the text that I'm looking at, my nice little quote. Um, what we'll actually do here. So once we've got our text where we want it to be, we'll actually look at getting rid of that outline and I'm going to put text selected there. I actually want to highlight it. I'll press X and I'm just going to paste that text separately. So now I'm going to delete everything off this page. I'm just going to highlight what I've got there and I'm going to go file export. Now I'm going to call that my board design. Export this. And so what that's actually going to do, go for selection because I've highlighted it, press OK. Now when I place this onto into TrueTech Ruby and then align it up on the board, the corner of my text is going to be the corner where the laser will start. So that will make sense. We'll look at that in class. But if you can get your text that you want to write to be the height you're after, export it, have it as a PDF ready to go when you come to class, we'll then be able to engrave your words. Thank you.